Today I'm going to show you how you can use speed ramps in CapCut. Speed ramps are a really cool effect if you use them in your videos and we'll take them to another level. So to avoid long intro, let's get into it. Open your CapCut app and create a new project. Import the videos you would like to work on. It doesn't matter what the videos are. Those can be from your holidays, selfies, whatever. For a better effect, the video should have some camera movement. Now select the first video. I'm going to stretch the clips a little bit and trim it to the length to what suits you best. You can also drag the handles to crop the video or you can also click on the split icon and delete the part you don't need. Trim also all the other clips to the length you wish to have. Now I'm going to speed the video a little bit. Now tap on the first clip and click speed icon. Then tap on curve and choose bullet preset. Click on edit and delete second and fifth bit so the curve looks something like this. Then click on make it smoother and better quality. Do exactly the same for all the other clips in the timeline. I will fast forward this a bit so you don't wait too long. When you're done, click on one of those white squares between the clips to choose a transition. Select transition that is called pull in and set the duration around 0.3 or 0.4 seconds. Click on apply to all so the same transition will be set between all of your clips. Now all we need to do is to add music background and sound effects. Click on audio icon, sounds and here you can find a ton of good music and sound effects directly in your CapCut app. But because of what happened to me in the past, when some of my videos were banned for copyright claims, I'm using Epidemic Sound where you can find over 40,000 copyright free tracks and over 90,000 sound effects. If you wish to try Epidemic Sound for free for 30 days, I will leave you a link down below in the description. For this case, I will use music track which I downloaded from Epidemic Sound. So click on audio, sounds, then tap on this folder icon then folder from files and choose the desired track. I will reduce the volume a little bit. And for the transition I will use a sound effect. So go to the point of the transition, tap audio, effects and then search for whoosh with echo that I think is just the right one. Now I will increase the speed a little bit for this sound effect and adjust it to the right position. You can also crop it a little bit. I will then copy the sound effect and place it for each transition so at the end you get something like that. Like and subscribe if the video was helpful. I wish you a great video editing.